Lesson 21. I'm determined to see things differently. I am determined to allow the Holy Spirit to show me in every given moment what is really happening. I accept that my true nature is of abundance, well-being, and love, and that the only thing that separates me from that experience is the limited way in which I see things, myself, and others. So I surrender to the fact that I need guidance because of my limited vision. I surrender not because I'm bad or guilty, but because I choose to remember my innocence and my unity with love. So when I am determined to see, I am assisting love in the healing process, which is my only function. It's not my job to create abundance, security, safety. It's already been created. I've only been hiding myself from it. When I am determined to see things differently, I am inviting help to let the truth in about my freedom and experience of it. I can trust in every moment a sincere willingness will bring me closer to the remembrance and experience of who we really are. I am determined to see things differently means I am willing to see God everywhere. Beyond the veil of illusions and separation is the real love in my brother and myself. I am determined to see this love in place of any thought of separation. I am determined to allow spirit to show me the innocence and unity of my one self in all the sonship. I hold to love and this seeing creates a new world. If I find myself holding even a twinge of anger, I have found it helpful to ask, how does Jesus see this situation? Or Jesus, how do you see this person? Show me. Then it is helpful for me to be quiet and listen, letting go of my preconceived ideas. It is also helpful for me to remember I do not know what anything including this means. I am open to be shown by the Holy Spirit. I know that understanding comes to the quiet mind. I am willing to allow my mind to be quiet a while and to be shown how to see things differently. I am willing to recognize that I do not know on my own and that I need help. There is a source of love that always resides in my mind. I am willing to go to that source and be taught how to see things differently. Grievances are a form of anger. Sometimes I don't even realize I'm holding a grievance. One way it shows up is when I get upset because it's the third time something happened. I obviously have been counting and I have been holding the first time as a grievance, even though I told myself it didn't bother me until the third time. It's interesting to observe the little ways the ego tries to disguise its anger and hide the anger from conscious awareness. If we were truly aware of all the anger we hold, it would be intolerable and we would immediately seek to do something about it. We would turn to love because it would be very clear that anger does not serve us. This is why it is important for us to realize that there is no difference between a minor irritation and intense fury. Any thought that holds us separate from our source and our brother is equally untrue, but also equally destructive to our awareness of the truth. This is why it is important to be determined to see things differently. It is not up to us how to see things differently, only to be willing. The how is provided by the Holy Spirit in our minds, but we cannot receive it if we are not willing. The willingness opens the door to complete release from fear and return to our home in love. As I sit in stillness and allow my true self to be more present, I realize that the thoughts coming from my subconscious are not me. I look at them in amazement. They are all concocted to be problems out there. This person, that situation, yet I can think differently about this person or that situation from day to day. 
These thoughts cannot be real and true, but I have made them, and so I must look at them. As I become more and more comfortable with allowing my true self to be in conscious awareness, my focus shifts from seeing differently outside to seeing differently inside. It is my true self who sees with Christ's eyes, who sees with love. If I can see that this is so, that it all happens inside myself, I can allow my mind to be healed from the seeming wound of its splintering into separate parts. There are no separate parts. There is only one. I am whole and never was anything else. I am determined to see oneness in all I see. I give to Holy Spirit in each moment and this true seeing can be mine. After working with the lesson, I quieted my mind and received the following message from Holy Spirit. When one begins to look at things differently, the healing process has begun. You don't need to be in a hurry and think it has to happen right now. Be patient with yourself, just as Spirit has been patient with you. Ask and you shall receive. Therefore, don't forget to ask. Ask Spirit to tell you how to see this person or situation differently. The answers will come to you, be assured of that. When I begin to see things differently, the world outside of me and others will also see things differently. For one thing, they will see me differently because I am. I am no longer carrying around the negative thinking or anger that I did before because I choose to see things differently. As I change my thoughts and see things differently, so does my world change. What a gift. As I see a happy you, I can see a happy me. As I see a kind you, I can see a kind me. As I see a light-filled you, I can see a light-filled me. As I see a peaceful you, I can see a peaceful me. As I see a joyful you, I can see a joyful me. For what I see in you, I see in me.